this video is going to look at combining means. Now before I do that I just want to remind you of the four basic bits of information you learned in Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4. That is the three M's and the range. So the mean is where you add up all the data and you divide by how many bits of information you have. So if you have five bits of information you divide by five. To find the mode is the most common value, so the value appears the most often. Remember, you can have more than one mode of a set of data. If you're looking at group data, you're going to be talking about modal class, which is just where you're looking for the highest frequency for a class. And the median is where you put the data in order and you look for the middle value. Remember, if you've got two numbers in the middle, you add them up and share them out. Now, the range is the biggest minus the smallest. Now remember, the range is not an average. It just shows you the spread of data. The bigger the range, usually the less consistent. Maybe a sportsman might be in the number of goals they score in a game. Or it might be show the range of the wages that a company pays from the cleaner up to the manager. Now, another key notation you're going to come across in S1 is this sigma symbol which means the sum of so the sum of your data it's just a quick array of writing the first value add the second value it just means the sum of all your values therefore the mean which we know is adding up and sharing them out can now be written as this x with a line above and that means the mean equals the sum of x so the sum of all the values divided by the number that took part. That's what the N represents. And we'll use that quite a lot during S1. So remember the X with the line over top refers to the mean. Right. When combining means, this is where we've got two sets of data. So we might have set A and set B. And we know the number of observations involved in set A. And we know the number of observation involved in set 2 and we also know the means for both both of them. Well when we want to find the combined mean for both of them together A and B, we use this equation here. So the mean of the combined is equal to the number of observations of 1 times by that mean plus the number of observations for 2 times its mean all divided by the total observations between the two Variable. So if we have a look at an example, we want to find the mean, sorry, the mean of a sample is 7.1 with 32 observations and the mean of the second sample is 6.4 with 28 observations. We want to find the combined number of observations. So we're going to use the rule that we've highlighted above. So there's our mean. It's going to be our first one, 7.3 times by 32 plus our second one which is going to be 6.4 times by number of observations which is 28 divided by the total number of observations which is 32 and 28 so if we just figure out what the top bit is so 70.3 times by 32 which is 2, 3, 3.6 and we add on the second one which is 6.4 times by 28 we get 179.2 and the total number of observations is 60 then we can just figure that out so divided by 60 our combined mean is 6.8 8, 8. So the combined mean for both these two variables is that. And that value sort of makes sense because it's around about the two means that we were given before. 7.3 and 6.4. Now depending on how many observations you have on each might depend on whether you get a mean that might be close to the top number or the bottom number. Well in this case we had roughly the same number of observations. So roughly you'd imagine that mean is going to be smack bang in between the two of them. And it roughly is.